Strength USA asks, if I purchase an SSD with 32 gigabytes so I can boot up Windows 10 on it, will it be enough? The best answer comes from USAF Retired. Absolutely not. Multiple problems with that. Well, USAF Retired, we'll see about that. Now from the Windows website, the minimum system requirements are listed right there. One notable thing is that it requires a 20 gigabytes for 64-bit OS. I don't know if they're trying to include uh, some room for updates for the 64-bit, but in my experience, I only use 16 gigabytes, which I'll show you later. Now Windows, Windows supplies the important notes, where it talks about the 32 gigabyte hard drives and you may need additional storage to complete any upgrades. Now I think this has to do more when you're upgrading from Windows 7 or 8 to Windows 10. Uh, because you'll have some of the old files from the Windows 7 and 8, but again, we'll see. Now regarding updates, some people have said, well, you know what, the updates are rather big, so we're going to have some problems with the SSD storage space. But again, there are some notes uh, later on uh, from this year talking about how they are reducing the size of the updates. Again, we'll have to see. So to USAF retired, Yes, it will install, absolutely, just barely, no. And I'll show you just what my specs are on my hard drive. And you can just use it for just a web browser PC. Well, you'll see again, you can use it for a little bit more. So I'm gonna take this 32 gigabyte Sunbow SSD and install it in this 12 year old computer. After a zillion hours, I finally got the 64-bit Windows 10 Home Edition. Now, to my surprise, only 13 gigabytes were needed for the base install of the Windows Home. Now, there are some updates to install. After all, Windows 10 did come out around July 2015. And in true Windows fashion, they don't tell you how big the update's going to be, but there have been quite a few. So I make sure I download everything. And lo and behold, after the updates, adding Cody and a few games for my daughter, it added about 5 gigabytes. There's about 10 usable gigabyte space. Judging by after three years of Windows 10, and that's about four gigabytes, hopefully I can get a few more years out of this SSD. So back to USAF retired. Number one, yes, it will install, and not just barely. Uh, the main issue that he doesn't address is the updates. I mean, yes, when you get more updates, there could you could definitely run out of room on that SSD. With only 32 gigabytes of storage, nobody's going to say you got to, you're going to do a lot of things on this computer. But if you look at the research from Sierra in 2018, the ways Canadians spend time online at least, I mean, look at the majority of those things on the list. What do you need to do in order to do those things? You need to have internet connection, and that's about it. Do you need a 256 gigabyte hard drive to do those things? No. The gaming, yes. Maybe you need something a little bit bigger. But you can also just use an external hard drive or a secondary hard drive. The second point is just ridiculous too. Again, you can just see here, uh, I chose 120 gigabytes for example, because that just seems to be a very common size that people will get. And there's a ton of them. And the points 3 and 4, they're just not really that important. So more all this story really is, is if you have a 32 gigabyte hard drive, go for it. If you're just an average everyday user, checking emails, watching videos, you don't need anything more. After each update, I would watch to see how much storage is being used up. But to tell people you can't do it and give them some false information, I think is quite wrong. And how that got chosen as the best answer, I have no idea, but that's what I do here at Ladybug Adventures. I challenge it, test it, and then find out if I can be cheap or not. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next ones. Now a lot of these